off the edge and down through vacant second slip to the boundary. There's a luck. Sometimes you need a little bit of luck to go your way. Perry, all oh, that was hit firmly through the hands of Gibson. It goes, burst them wide open. That is beautiful. Textbook cricket, textbook Perry. Well, they can start to figure out where do they need to capitalise? Where can they open up their game? In the air, and that has gone all the way. That is a clever shot and well executed by Perry. There's such good balance here. Yeah. Bold! Big wicket, Elise Perry tried to go big. And she has been dismissed by Gibson. Catch it, catch it. Yeah. And it's taken. So they have two now. And Gemma Barsby on the mic is multitasking to perfection. Eternally. In the air, and that'll go over the top for six. Katie Mack was down on the deep backward square boundary, but could only see it sail over her head. Beaten, stumped. Did she get a foot back? Bridget Patterson, the keeper, is confident. Full toss. Hit into the gap. One bounce over the rope to bring up the 50. And Gardner's getting a start. She is crucial now for the Sixers. Go, Gibbo! One, Gibbo! So much on the bat now of Ash Gardner, isn't there? It's... Yeah, and while Gardner's there, you can see there's an anticipation of something big's going to happen. So. You catch that. Gone. Yeah. So it's another huge breakthrough. Gardner goes, holes out. And it's a cheap wicket in the end. Mashungwe picks up another one. And... You, mate. Mushy, mushy. Gee whiz, that was touch and go. It was... Halfway down, she looked like she might have been in trouble That's trying. She... That's uh, pretty straightforward. So, try and adds one to her total. Um, freeze it there, thank you. Yeah, satisfied the batter has made her ground. Yeah, and he has to see if the bat was grounded past the pop increase before foot actually landed. Oh, just good, ch good change of pace. What it was. Good change of pace, rolling the wrist, bowling that leg spinner into the wicket, 87 kilometres an hour. And... So that's nicely played. There's a hole there, one bounce over the rope, and it's bold batting from Maitland Brown. She took it on, pinned the ears back. And again, so they didn't drop anyone down there, and she's done it again. Almost found the rope on the full, back-to-back -back boundaries. Well, changing the field, it's gone back now. That's beautifully played. She opened up that front leg and punched it through cover. What a glorious shot. It played around the ground. She's got a bit of it, but there's a field of camp underneath it, and the simplest of catches is taken. So try on falls. Just as Brown was getting going, they were building a partnership. Now we're aware of how chatty you were as a keeper. That's beautifully played. She's dropped a bit short, and Carmichael put her away. She drops it into the crease, Ooh. and that's... <laughs> She's cute. <it. laughs> and that's going... Oh, oh, no, gee, I thought she had it, and then... That is good fielding. <laughs> that's not easy. She knew. Uh, doing every, everything right here, Adelaide. 15 dot balls in a spell from Gibson. That's very, very good. I guess something's trying to tech. And she just muscles that over the top of cover. And time it well enough to... Oh, my God, that's a horrible piece of work out there. And against a quality Adelaide Strikers bowling unit, they're happy to just keep doing exactly the same thing. Good line, good length, lots of dots. Ooh. This year? Yeah, well, that one's going to be called cool. white. Well, Lisa Healy just has the ability to set the tone in a batting. From that shorter ball, just the second extra in the innings. That's nicely played, and that will race away. 
So Maitland Brown's been a find this year. And she continues a good form with the bat. It's five for 107. Catch it. It's very Catch good. It. Direct it's got her. It still might be enough. I suspect it is. So that is an outstanding team performance by the Adelaide Strikers. One oh, oh, that's not good. And that's the superstar that it gets through. And That's a lovely shot. Used her feet beautifully. It's what she does, and she puts it away. It's a very bright start. Ten runs from the opening over. Oh, well, there it is. Straight through bat and pad. The shape was late. And that is Lauren Cheadle out of the top draw. I have no idea. Well, that's beautifully played. What a glorious cricket shot. Uh, value for shots, no doubt about it. If you have a pitch and... Find the middle of. Oh, that's better from the captain. So she doesn't get all of it, McGrath, but well and truly enough. And does what has been difficult to do, and that's get Smith away in the power play. It's one for 21. That is very good batting again. It wasn't elegant, but she knew where the ball had to go. For the, uh, might be off cutter. And again, she finds another hole in the outfield, and she's careering this one to that small total. That's been put away, as it should have been. Got away from Gardner, and that was money for old ropers, they say, Hodgie. <laughs> Is that what they say? That's what they say. Money for right old Katie. Money. These two are absolutely coasting. So, so, so Katie, as one nearly goes to hand, the Sydney, in a, a different team, in a different situation in a tournament, might be mindful of net run rate. And I think uh, after this game, the reflections are saying, OK, how are we going to take the game on, on more, both with our batting and our fielding? Those nine games in a row... But this is good, bit of aggression, something different. While it's a wide, it's just being able to attack in a different format. Beautifully. <laughs> it's straight over the bowler's head, and it's straight over the rope. Well, a nice contact point from Talia McGrath. S swimmers? Oh. Ooh. Hey, Matilda, the, the news obviously about Alicia Healy was a, you know, a, a hammer blow for, you know, your team and the competition this year, but uh, how did it affect the group? Got it! Gone, oh. no! Hard to believe that Gardner's put that down. Look, I think they've done That's a lot it. of... Oh, it's a chance. Yeah. Gone! Out! Perry takes the catch. Well, there you go. Breakthrough worked. The initiative of bringing Ash Gardner into the attack. Quality spin bowler. Pierce the offside field. Shot away through backward points. And that will race out towards the boundary. The 100 comes up. Hit over the top. Well, not over the top. It's caught. It went straight up and Perry waited. And took it happily. Just, just enjoy yourself. Just keep watching the ball and uh, just be uh, the way you, you, uh, you were in the Australian series. 50 for Katie Mack. So it's another superb innings from her in what is proving to be a very productive season. Speak. Beautifully bowled by Cheetle. Her second wicket. And there's just a little bit of late pride that the Sixers are trying to find here. Four for 103. Well, Gardens next door and just thought, you know what? Oh. That is a chance of a catch. It's out. Gardner's safe hand, so a fifth wicket. They're making hard work of this, the Adelaide Strikers. Two runs to defend. And there they are. Drag put away. And the Adelaide Strikers join the top of the table. Brisbane Heat with four wins for the season. The defending champions.